Hey guys, thanks for joining me here in the kitchen today. I'm Shelly. Today I am making a frittata with some eggs, some Parmesan cheese, some garlic, onions, peppers, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, I've been trying to eat a little bit healthier and uh, maybe in the process get my weight down a little bit. And so this is helping me uh, with the extra protein and stuff from the eggs to do so. So I thought I would show you guys how to do it. I've had a few people ask how I do it. So I am going to show you today. So I have two cups of zucchini. When I do my zucchini, I grow it in my own garden and I grate it all up and I put it into freezer bags, Ziploc freezer bags and two cup portions because that's typically how when you do a recipe of like zucchini bread, um, they, it calls for two cups of zucchini. So uh, I, that's how I do it, but I'm trying not to bake the bread because I'll just sit there and eat the whole loaf because it's so delicious. Um, so I'm gonna use this in my frittata. So this is how I do it. So I thaw it out and you'll see there's a lot of liquid in there. And I'm just taking a strainer over my sink and emptying it out. You see it's draining out there. And I just try to get as much liquid out of it as possible. I suppose I could leave some of it in there and use that to scramble my eggs if I wanted to. All right, and so there is my strained zucchini. Okay, so for some flavor, I took one of my pads of butter with the garlic tops, the escapes that I made um, back in the, I don't know, must have been June, back in the spring. Um, and I'm melting that down. Because you're gonna wanna saute your veggies that you put in there. I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil because sometimes it does stick. I chopped up some onions and some peppers. I have put in uh, tomatoes too, but I'm all out of those right now. So I thought onions and peppers would be delicious. Now I usually take garlic and I just dollop it on there, but because you guys sometimes ask how much of whatever, I'm gonna put uh, two teaspoons of just chopped garlic from the store in there. And we're gonna get that cooking. And just get them so they're a little bit clear. But we're also gonna add our zucchini in there. So I'll get that and I'll dump that in. Okay, here's my strained zucchini. I'm gonna dump that right on top. And we're just gonna cook it for just a just a minute or two, just to because this is um, shredded zucchini. It's not gonna take as long to kind of get. You're not really cooking it, but maybe heating it up a little bit. And you're trying to get the veggies a little bit translucent, just tenderizing them a little bit. While I do that, I'm gonna set the oven for a 350. because we are going to bake this frittata. You want it very high, just between medium and low. And I have a little Himalayan pink salt. I don't use a lot of salt, but I may sprinkle a little bit in there. Because zucchini doesn't have a lot of flavor, I try to give it some. Some pepper, and then I've got some garlic powder that I use and I sprinkle that in there, a couple of pinches. Stir it around so it all gets it. Basically what I'm trying to do here is just cook my veggies just a little bit, like I said, to get them a little translucent and to get some of that flavor into my zucchini because it doesn't have a lot, so I'm trying to get some of the garlic scape and the garlic and the onion and all of it in there so it gives it a nice flavor. 
So we're going to just let that go for a few minutes. And while we're doing that, we can uh, whisk up some eggs. All right, I've got five eggs here. Gonna just scramble those guys up. I'm gonna put a little little bit of water in there. Spoon, you can use milk too if you want. I just don't want to go to the fridge. Water works just fine. All right, we got that all scrambled up. So now I've got some Parmesan, grated Parmesan. And I usually just dump it in, but again, for you guys, it's a quarter cup that I'm gonna put in. So I'm just gonna dump it in here, and if it more dumps out, I don't really care. All right, there we go. Put that in there. And I'm just gonna stir that in. Okay, so now my yummy uh, zucchini and onion and pepper are all cooked. I've let it cool down a little bit, but this is in a cast iron can, so it's not going to be, it's not going to cool down super fast. So what I do with the eggs is called tempering, and I take some of this hot um, concoction, zucchini concoction we'll call it, and I put it a little bit in with my eggs. If you dump it all in there, it will cook the eggs because it's so hot. But if you put a little bit in at a time, it tempers it. It brings it up to temperature without cooking the eggs first. So I do two or three. I don't know. I, I don't really go by a specific thing. I just do a few spoonful or forkfuls in this case. Get that like that. Then what I do is spray my, you could use whatever pan you want. I'm using a pie plate pan, pie plate. And you just spray it with some cooking spray. Nothing fancy. And then I just stick this in the plate. Of course, this will help cool it down as well. Because the pan is cold. Well, the pie plate is cold. I just get that all out. All right, I'm gonna take that away. We're all good with that. And I spread it out. Get all the goodness in there. And I have some cheese, some grated. This is Fiesta blend. I have mozzarella, but I thought this would be more flavorful. Again, trying to just put flavor in here. I don't want it bland. Um, and I'm just going to sprinkle it in. This is a quarter cup. You could put however much you want. Again, usually I just sprinkle it in, but I'm trying to make it so you guys know how much of what goes in. Um, but you make this to your own liking. If you like more garlic or less garlic or no onions or whatever, it's up to you. So then I'm just going to pour my egg mixture over all my veggies here. Just kind of mix it all down in. Then I'm going to take my grated Parmesan one more time and just sprinkle it over the top. Just a light sprinkle. You see it on there, just a dusting. I have some parsley. And let's see. We're just going to sprinkle a little part just to prettier up. Add a little flavor, I guess. Again, you can put whatever you want. You can put some basil in there. Um, there's so many different ways that you can do this and so many different things you could put in it. I mean, if you wanted meat, you could put meat in there. I'm just trying to use up my zucchini um, because I have a bunch frozen in the freezer and I have no more freezer space. And this is actually very good. And uh, so that's why I'm sharing it with you. All right, so this is going to go in an oven, 350 for 20 minutes. And it should be done. 
and we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. So while I clean up my dishes from making my frittata, I thought that um, I would just do a quick shout out to some of the channels that have sent their, um, their stickers to us. Um, well, except for one of them, I did buy one to uh, help her out, but it's Ariella's Viking Victuals and Adventures. She's in Australia and she does a lot of um, different content. She cooks, she does shopping hauls, uh, she does a lot of lives and shout outs. So she's a really very supportive person and, uh, and she likes to support a lot of channels and she loves the homesteading, off-grid channels. And so uh, I thought I would help her out and buy a sticker and also because I really uh, enjoy her channel. So, um, and then I have Fallen Arkansas Veterans. Uh, we have followed Charlie for quite a while. And since he only had a few subscribers, he's, I believe he's up over 100 now. Uh, he does a lot of great things for the veterans and a really nice thing. And so he has sent us a magnet and some stickers. Next up is Morris Patch of Heaven. I love this sticker. Um, it's so beautiful. And of course, it's got chickens on the front. So, uh, and they're a beautiful, beautiful family. And I love their channel as well. Um, just really nice people. And they're currently hoping to get into a new homestead um, very soon. I'm very, I'm hoping that it happens for them very soon. And the other one is Mont's Family Homestead. Um, they are an awesome family. They have goats and they do a lot of funny shorts with how funny their goats are. And um, also uh, creative woodworking stuff, which of course I like. And um, so I really enjoy their channel and they're a very big supporter of ours as well. So um, I just wanted to give everybody a shout out. Thank you for the stickers. And if you guys have stickers that you'd like to trade, which is what we did, we did a sticker trade or swap. Um, we sent them our stickers and a magnet. So if you'd like to do that, our address will be in the, uh, down in the description. And also the links to the channels that I just mentioned will be down in the description as well. And if you haven't checked any of those channels out, I suggest you do because they're really great channels and great people. And they're also supportive of other youtubers and um they love their subscribers so all right i guess dishes are cleaned up so and hopefully that retardo will be done really quickly so i also wanted to put it out there that if anybody would like to do a christmas card swap we uh would be willing to do that as well i, I did a few of those last year and it was a lot of fun receiving uh, Christmas cards from people and little notes in them and, or just a card with a signature. It was always so nice to get those. I know stamps are expensive, um, but they're not, you know, if you do a few, it's not too bad. But if anybody's interested in doing some Christmas cards, we would love to get them and we'll send you one as well, as long as you send us your address with it. Again, address down in the description if you're interested in doing a card swap with us. Okay, so here's my zucchini frittata. You guys can see how yummy that looks. You can see all the green in there. Like I said, sometimes I put tomato in there chopped up. So I like the colors in my, um, in my food sometimes. So I'm going to cut this open and show you the inside. If I can get it out and not flop it all over the place. There we go. Look at that steam come off there. But that's my frittata. Lots of times I'll take salsa, which I'm all out of right now. I have some of my homemade salsa somewhere, but I don't feel like digging for it. Um, but I'm going to try it and see how it tastes because I did a couple things different. I don't normally put grated cheese in, I just put the Parmesan, and I don't normally put green pepper in it. Um, I just had some in there, and 
I just thought it would be good. But usually I put the onion in there. You could put, you could make this however you want. Um, as long as you use the right, the same base, the eggs and, and things like that. But you could put meat in there. You could put sausage, what, whatever you, whatever you desire, really. Mmm. Mmm. That's really, really good. Taste the garlic, a lot of the garlic. It's very fluffy and soft, um, just like eggs would be, um, since it is eggs. <laughs> um, oh yeah, very good. I'm gonna enjoy that. Um, and this I typically have either for lunch, sometimes I have it for breakfast. You can put whatever you want in it, you make it to your liking. That's pretty good. A lot of garlic taste in that. Again, if you don't like garlic, don't use it. Um, but I think it's really good. I love it. So I'm going to finish eating this. And again, if you guys want to uh, swap Christmas cards or stickers or magnets, down in the description. So thanks for watching, guys. Check out the other uh, channels down in the description if you haven't heard of them or haven't checked them out before. They're great channels, great people. So again, have a great day and take care.